hello guys welcome back so in the last video tutorial we were able to update the product okay with the food item so um before we continue please kindly um share this video with your friends and also um um i read in a comment that uh, my video uh, my audio is not good um please um forgive me about that because i i don't have a good microphone and uh if if you're concerned about the sound of my uh, my videos you can support me if you want okay you can support me to get a microphone okay but anyway this is currently what i have so i'm going to use that to record the videos and i'm sorry for that okay so in the last video tutorial we are able to do um um i mean the editing of the products when we click on it it takes to us to um this place for us to update okay and then when you click on it if you make any changes you just update okay so let me just make any change here and then update it so after updating it takes up to you and then you can see that it has updated so this time you are just going to focus on the deleting but then you realize that this page is not for the admin okay so the admin is not supposed to click on this item to um the user is not supposed to click on this item to edit the item because if you want the user to only click on the buy i uh, button okay so we will change this in future because we are going to create a different um food item card for the admin and also um, we are going to maintain this food item card for the user so we will focus on that later but at this moment what i want to do is to um make sure that we just delete the product okay so i'm going to write the logic here so yes in the explore page i mean this current page okay so this is the code for this current page okay and then we have a food item card here which is for the user we will create one for the the um the admin but currently we are just using we are just using this same card i mean this same page for the admin to edit um to edit to also um delete okay but we will change all that in future videos okay so um quickly you know that this is the food item and then we have a guest editor on it when you on top you edit okay it takes you to the ad um for you to edit okay the ad item food item for you to edit so by this time we are going to make sure that we on the guest editor we can also use um one called the on long press okay sorry on long press so what i'm going to do is that when this thing is long pressed then we are going to delete okay instead of opening a page so when you long press we are going to delete or maybe on double tap let me just use double tap on double tap okay um because I'm going to change this, I'm just using the gesture dictator. But then, when we create a new food item for this, okay, we are going to have some buttons um, here, maybe at the right, okay, at the right side, and then we click on that button and then we perform the edit or delete or view function. But for now, we are just going to do this, okay, we are going to use the gesture dictator, okay. So we have the on double tap, and then we want to write a logic say delete um delete food item here okay so how are you going to delete the food item here so we have to go inside our um what is it our scope model which is the food model here okay and then we have to write the logic here to delete so here is the code for the update um the update food item so let's create the logic for um for deleting delete the food okay and if you are deleting the food um you see when we are updating we are we point to this and then we, we get the id and then we also edit okay in the same way when we are deleting we also need the id and then point to this same place but that's that the the method of the http request changes to delete okay so we will now come here okay and also say http dot delete okay and we have to pass this same logic here this same url here and um sorry 
let me just go back again copy that in again and put it inside here okay for now so what you're going to do you also have to accept the string of food id here we have to accept just the food id because we're just deleting so i'm just going to copy this code again and put it in my try catch block to catch any error that happens and we can go something like this okay so it's just like the same thing like the same format we used before so we have this and now we can set it's loading you know that we we always um we always have to do the is loading to make sure that um something is loading at the background before so we go and it's still the same logic okay so we are deleting okay we also have to await the response that we get back so we can await okay i'm sorry <laughs> that is i think okay and then we can use the await on it um i'm not going to use the response for anything now so i'll just leave it but if you like you can just um get a response okay final http dot response um response yeah and then you can put this one there okay so you can receive the response like it so we pass in our food id there and then we point to this and then we assume we are deleting okay so when this is called because of our um, method on the http we are going to um, delete instead of um, updating which is the food okay so um, basically this is it so we delete from um like i said i'm not going to use the response so when we delete it we now can share i mean set it is loading to force and then we notify the listeners okay so that's it and then when it's also when we get an error we can say it's loading and we can set that to false and then notify the listeners okay for now so we can save this so we have this method here we can now use it at um, our explore page when we double tap because we are already using the scope model here we can we have access to this model and we can now go ahead and say model dot delete food and then all we need to pass is the food item id okay we copy this code and then we paste it here dot id okay because that's all that we need okay so when this is tab okay it is um i think we created um uh, the show dialogue somewhere okay show dialogue so we can use before we we we, we delete we want to show a dialogue okay so we can now go ahead and say show um loading dialogue here i think and then we can pass in the message that we want to show here so the latin food item here okay and then we can now end it but then when we after the latin we want to close um this okay so in our scope model here we didn't return anything but then we have a return type of what boolean okay so we want to return true when it's successful and then we want to return false when it's unsuccessful so we say return future dot value dot um true here and then we can return false here if it fails okay a value dot false so this time here when we can um also um listen to the response okay so when i go back to the explore page um if i want to close this then i have to wait for the response that comes back so i can use the then here i'm sorry the then okay the then and inside the then um this then method will be called okay when this method is finished processing it's like is the um is the other form of await where you have to um, wait for a um, 
an HTTP request to finish, okay, like using the await, and then we get a response, okay. So in this same way, we, we are using the dot then here, which is also acting the same way. So when this finish, we want to also um, receive the response here, like new response, and then we want to close the, we want to close this dialog, okay. So we just have to pop it up, and then of contest, dot pop okay and then we can save our code so now when i double tap okay then it's deleting okay and we deleted a thing from our database but i think it's not deleted in the list so when i pull refresh down we shouldn't see another there and we don't see it because now it's deleted from our um our HTTP, um, I mean Firebase, is deleted from our Firebase. But the only difference is that we are not deleting it from our list. You see, when we fetch, we push everything inside this list. Okay, so if you are pushing everything inside this list, then anytime that we also delete or update, we have to also delete or update the list that we have. So to do that, we can now write. Um, a simple code here okay delete item from the list okay the list of food items okay and then we can now go to um i think we can go to the foods okay that um remove where okay so we are using the remove where okay um method on the list and then this time we are saying remove where the food item, food, um, food here. Okay, so we are removing where the food, food.id, um, food.id, yep. Because it equals the food ID that we are receiving. So this will remove the item from the list if the ID matches what we are receiving here. Okay, so let's save and then double tap again. And then let's see what happens. And now you can see that the, the list refresh. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete because I didn't add all these things here. So um, I think everything is working. When I double tap, everything is deleting. They are deleting from the thing. Okay. So um, I'll leave this video here. But remember that in the next video tutorial, which will probably be tomorrow, we are just going to... Um, Make sure that we use a different food item card for the admin and then we also use um, a different um, we, we do different methods and also we are going to do some checks okay we can't just delete the item because the user clicked um, double tap I mean the admin double tapped on the food item to just delete so we will maybe open a dialogue before we ask are you sure you want to delete so we are going to do all those functionalities so thank you guys for watching i will leave the video here and we will continue in the next video tutorial thank you